Hello, and welcome back to Starfield. We'll be continuing where we left off. Which, if I'm not mistaken, we're looking to get to get Barrett back, hand that quest in. And uh, hopefully soon, because we've now made a nice little bit of cash. We're probably about a quarter of the way or so to uh, getting that mortgage on a house paid off. And... Maybe at some point we can stop by there at some at some moment and get a free bit of free time. Right. Oh, Sarah's just arrived. Can't wait. To just get it over. Right. Let's get back to the lodge. Everything sold, money has been made, and we are ready to go on some more quests. So yes, yeah, so we'll drop Barrett back. I'm just assuming he's going to teleport from my ship what over to here, here now. Perhaps we should check in with Mateo or Noel. Now this, I am at your service, just Captain. All right, you're back. <clears throat> Matsuo the Grim? Honestly, a pretty nice guy as far as pirates go. I think I butted heads with his mentor once years back. Had the same kind of surprisingly hospitable vibe. Right. Du -du -du. Were you just laughing at the whole hey, time? Hey, you're underselling my harrowing escape from certain doom here. A little charm goes a long way when the knives are out. Sorry for the wait, everyone. Got a little held up on Vectera. Well, some of us were. I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual. I'm planning a grocery run later. I get some Don't things start, like. country. Wait, is that? <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library shelf. Now look at them all. To talk to him again. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, I had the visions. Being around them is just comforting. So hey, I, I'm still not a hundred percent, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around and help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe? All right, let's Mark. go. Oh, and Sarah's gone off in a hissy fit. It's like, well, if you don't need me, <laughs> bye. Okay, broski, let's go. Ooh, constellation. Hey, permanently reduces fall damage, like the most minor it's things. It's been quieter but, hey. around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the eye full time. Hey, and there he is. Years until I saw you again, and here you are. I hope you don't mind, but. I figured the lodge was just a gnat stop away. I just had to see it. Oh, this place is everything I imagined. Do you know I dreamt of joining Constellation when I was a girl? Yes. Hey, I'm not that old, dearest. But I'll let your father talk before he... I was playing poker with the Dean of Engineering, and he had this collectible revolver framed. And when he heard you were in Constellation, well, we worked together to get the piece clean and restored. She fires beautifully now. We, uh, uh took turns sighting it at the range. I swear, your father was acting like a school kid. <clears throat> As I was saying, may I present to you Sir Malcolm Livingston's personal sidearm. All the special modifications, Ooh. just as he left him. He was chair of Consolation about uh, 50 years ago. Anyway, it's yours. 
Right. Thank you very I much. Hope it keeps you safe. Well, we'll let you get back to it, but uh, Miss Noel said we could look around a little first. Right, they're just probably going to be Noel, here now. Would it be all right if I brought cookies? Okay. What else have we got? Uh, we're not checking out our ship's inventory. Why would it default to that? Uh, Sam Connor's daughter will be coming along to Aquila City. There'll be passengers until we get there. So I guess I should probably do that soon. Um, then there's the survey stuff there. And then there, Sarah's asked me to go to the Eye, a star station that the Constellation owns in orbit of Jemison. I need to meet with Vlad Vladimir Saul about finding more artifa artifacts. Okay, that sounds actually a lot closer. Um, right. And we just got a new gun, didn't we? So Livingston, oh my god, it's a 1911. <laughs> Large mag, high velocity. 15 rounds, 28 damage, surprisingly good. Like, uh, that's getting up there to magnum caliber. Okay, um, I have nowhere to put a, uh, to put that. Absolutely nowhere. Um, right. Actually, Mr. Cookies, we're tiny. I make a mean snickerdoodle. Yes, I, um, let's roll. Right, out there, uh, set course, destination the eye, hang on, did I, yeah go to the, yeah it is called the eye, right okay, travel, <coughs> let's go. I'm sure there's, you know what, I think there's a dead zone on this. Hang on. Let's see, settings, controls. There's got to be a dead zone, it feels like there's a dead zone on the, on the sticks when I'm piloting. I will be one moment. Okay, I've had a look on the Steam settings. If there is one, it's not on Steam. It would have to be in here. Unless maybe it's just my pad getting a bit old. Which it, by all means, could be. Um, I don't think there's a dead zone thing either in here. No. Right. We'll just go. Yeah, because I'm, I'm foot. I like the controller stick. Let's see. Um. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Maybe it's like the response curve or something. Whatever. Might be something to tinker with later. Anyway. Right, I'm assuming I'll have to dock with this, pro uh, most likely. Probably, eh?
Now, where does one dock? Is this the docking door? Is that the docking door? Where is the dock? Where is the docking bay? I don't know what I'm clipping on, but apparently we've died. <laughs> Our first death is we apparently clipped something there. Dunno. Honestly, dunno. And it instantaneously killed me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a first death. Oh, wow, and it's just... Right, so it must... It must save before you travel, then. Rather than when you arrive. Okay. Oh, we can go so much faster when we do that. You know, we don't need more... Um, oh, you know what? Maybe that's where we dock. Ah. I think. Ow. Ow. You can't send power to have jump offline. <laughs> I am not as good in first person as third person when I'm piloting. Jesus Christ. It must be calculating it based on like the mass of the thing or something or the speed at which I'm hitting. The thing is, I was pulling away then. So I don't know how I've managed to do that. Jesus Christ, right. Bloody hell shitty docking procedures on this right oh stop overshot it a bit So I'm assuming that just, oh bloody hell, right. turn the engines down to like one, like I did last time, not that it can worked. Right. Yeah, when I go into, okay. Right. Just one on there, like a little bit, is a lot faster than you think. Nudge it forwards. The docking thing is on the top. Remember. Now can I dock? Apparently not. Yeah, where am I actually supposed to dock here? How close am I meant to be getting? Stopped, come on. Is it maybe around the front? A 
Hello? Game? I would like to dock with this thing. Hello? Oh god, that just took about a... I nudged it, and there goes a quarter of my goddamn hull. Jesus Christ, yeah. They really aren't screwing around with collision damage, are they? Game. Right, I'm going to roll it. So I was apparently touching that, you see that little red light just there in front of us. I was touching that. To oh god. I'm not even touching it. I wasn't even touching it. <laughs> I think if you're just in the general vicinity, it counts as a collision. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And the collision damage is absolutely enormous. You know, you don't just scrape the paint a little. It's like, no, 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 no. You... The, the worst bit is, is it's not 3D movement. You know, it's not... Newtonian physics movement or anything and I don't have say for example uh, what they call like retro thrusters or anything so I can't just nudge it left or right I have to go forwards and back and swizzle the ship around and everything <clears throat> to say it's a space game it's surprisingly basic uh, space flight sort of stuff it's got going here anyway Point is, I don't know where to dock. I might just pause the whole thing here and I'll join you again when we've found somewhere to dock, I think. Because I'm going to be here a while, I can tell. <sighs> I found out what the problem was. Do you remember when I changed my interact button from, you know, being A to being Y? Because why, why would you assign... What is the jump button in every single game since the 90s as the interact button? I have no goddamn clue. But it is what it is. So you apparently have to go up right up to it as well. It's, it's weird about letting you interact with it. And then you have to dock. And again, it does not at any time prompt that you can interact with it. It does not tell you the button to do that. It, there's nothing about it. Don't and it's assigned it. wrong. Ah, this game. The UI and the, the controller binding. Just that one button. And Vladimir has done so much work on it since then that even Mask must be impressed. Yeah, he's apparently talking to me about something. We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. That is so off-putting. Right, it's called Vladimir. And he has a Russian accent. But he looks like he's from Africa. The... But... Uh, what? Who is this person? What? They're a walking contradiction. It's like a black viking or something, you know, it's just, what the fuck am I looking at? Jesus Christ. Sure. Aha! You got your nickname from Vlad. You're official now. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. Yeah, it wasn't that good. always preferred working alone even around people I like but we, now this we're just station, gonna skip past as much of this as possible because that accent and that appearance just our would mismatch be for me after we caught our second one but the data takes a slow ride along the sea of light 
years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. Mm, that. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia... It's been a while. Hate to pull the worried old man act on you, but... I'm an old man, and... I'm worried. It's okay to be worried about her, Vlad. She's been out there for a while. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Right. Draw the words another time, then. Going. So we, we came here, had to go through this whole... Um, ass and a docking procedure and everything. I'm taking a med kit for the trouble it caused me. But we had to do all that just so we could listen to him. Ugh. Should have done the other quest first. I'm gonna have to change that button as well. Where are our settings, controls? No, bindings. Spaceship. Found docks. Right, spaceship um, flight. Da, 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 da. Ship action one. Right, we're gonna have to. Yeah. And spaceship docks grounded. You know, it's actually already set to Y, so that should be fine. Right. Now to go back into the menus again. Um, right, so there's that and there's the empty nest. So we'll go and do this one, I guess. They say they're coming with me to Aquila City. I don't know why we're going there or what they're here for, but sure... I guess we're going there now. Unexplored. Oh, unexplored route. Try jumping to a closer system. You've not explored every route along the way. So I need to go to Olympus. Uh. I pressed B for back. No, not B. I pressed A to select. Why is it? It's the worst bit is with the menu is that it's so inconsistent as well. You know. Right. And the worst bit is, is that the Y button isn't even marked here along with the other buttons. That it's just kill me. God's sake. I haven't have to navigate these menus anymore, my god. Am I going? Oh, do I need a uh, uh It's not happy, is it? No oh, not Back. Can Oh, we're just randomly going now. For the love of God. Go, 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 go. Cratting around here for ten minutes. Let's go. I will not get tired of that. Right, I've discovered Olympus. Now can I go to this one?
Apparently I can. <laughs> the game was angry because it wanted me to go through two loading screens to get there, rather than one. I've no idea why it needs me to do that, but sure. select it again for a third time and that's <laughs> oh my god I don't know I, I was looking at like how No Man's Sky handled this the other day I just like watched some a little bit of gameplay footage from the most recent patch and that because I was just kind of sat there thinking yeah like that's the other big triple-a game I can think of that sort of does space flight that's released lately, like, lately. And it's like, yeah, you just take off in the ship and then you land and there's no cutscenes, there's none of that, there's, you just go. You know, you chart a course and you're on your way. It completely cuts the crap. When you get a size, you get a feeling for the size of these guns and that that are on here. Eh? That little dinky missile pod is actually, you know, quite substantial. Makes me wonder why we can't just fire that at the pirate outposts. All right, we're here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm going to be riding your tail until this is over. Okay. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co. First man on Aquila. That tale I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After Planetfall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila, and he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Right. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there. Well, Barrett, it looks like you've been replaced by him. Can I... Where is the ship? Here. Um, crew, I'm assuming I can probably just assign them all. You've reached the maximum number of crew assignments with your current ship command level. Woo. So you can't come along. Woo. Also. We've got another skill point. Um. Honestly, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff I could go into here. I'm, I'm tempted by ballistics, to be fair. But also, where was the... Uh ship command and it's down there Christ alive but yeah it is really down there but I think I'm gonna unlock ballistics so we've kind of got ballistics and lasers then.
and we'll just slowly make our way down uh, here. But I think as well we're going to um, look at probably upgrading commerce and scavenging and maybe even doing some persuasion at some point. And eventually going into like leadership. Um, probably outpost management. Then it'll probably be sip, uh, ship command most likely. Right. Let's get out there and do something new today, shall we? Yep. I mean, you can come along, Barrett. Is he actually coming along? I don't think he is. I think he's just kind of around. Oh, that's... Uh, Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Uh oh, that's what I might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. I know you. You're Sam Co. Marshal will be damn glad to have another Free Star Ranger helping out. Afraid your information is a couple years out of date. Right. People are in danger. I want help. I'll keep that in mind. He's in charge Not of security. Usually, but he took charge of the situation because the bank robbers are part of the Shaw gang. The marshals had a lot of experience dealing with the gang. So, he's calling the shots. I guess that'd I guess be the we're marshals' call. Frankly, jump in, aren't we? it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are going to let us leisurely peruse the Gal Bang vault. But yeah, it looks like as well we're on a very low gravity, it's like high gravity planet. Like who? It looks like we're getting sent in for negotiations. Maybe I should have just gone into persuasion then. You need to stand back now. What's going on? It's a hostage situation. Not good. Now please get back, or I'll have the guards drag you away. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now please stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned, Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. I have succeeded Some on one persuasion attempt out of two place, so far. But they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. Hmm. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> They want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Hmm. All right. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want. And then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the bank. Let's just draw up a safety save. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands where I can see him. And don't try nothing. 
ignore the enormous gun on my backpack. You're a negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. Let's see, who are you? It's Jed. Jed Bullet. Right. Well, ain't you polite. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? I'll give you my word. Just I don't to... know you, so why should your word mean anything to me? Okay, we've got three turns. We've got to do a fair bit of work here. There's a lot of persuading to do. We've been in worse scrapes than this. We can handle being stuck in a bank. I'm not anywhere on the side here. I'm so Ooh. ready to get out of here. We've got to go for the big one. Hey! Okay. I can see you're not just the marshal's tool. You want what we want. A nice, happy ending where nobody gets hurt. But let's talk. Alright. The hostages are okay. Much. Complain about everything. Well, they're being held hostage. Like to, none of us have shot one yet. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are and the marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? That's a pretty tall order. Then persuade the marshal that it ain't. Job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. So let's just let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. Ooh, he's just giving me a little bit too information, I think. Alright, let's try this. Okay, we've got three turns. We're not about to get loads of persuasion, but we are going to need at least a few plus threes in this. I know, I know. Not disagreeing with that. Okay. Oh, we definitely we're not, we're not going for the Damn plus it. six. I didn't think of it that way. You have to believe hey. it. We never meant to take hostages. Nobody's been hurt, so maybe the judge won't come down too hard on us. Yeah, I think this has. You'd make a decent ranger with the way you handled that. Right, a job well done. Those guys are scared. I can tell. What's the word? They're coming out quietly. Well, I'll be a son of an Ashta. <laughs> How'd you pull that off? Dice rolling. I convinced me about those it. are Shaw's people. That's damn near a miracle. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to the Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. All right. Now that lives aren't on the line, let's get back to the Galbag, see if we can get those maps. Well done. Well done indeed. They didn't torture you, did they? It's okay. We'll take it. Yeah. 
Hang on, is it? <laughs> it's been like, ah, yes, go over here and get deputised. I mean, I think we've got... There's that, and there's also... Da -da -da. We can also join the Vanguard. <laughs> if we wanted to. I'm assuming that's like the Fighters and Mage Guild and... Companions and stuff in Skyrim. You know, like join a faction in Fallout, I'm guessing. Which we may or may not want to do. If I join the Three Star Rangers, am I locked out from joining the Vanguard or things like that? It's below us, apparently. Here we go. family has a few different deposit boxes secured in here, so let's look around. Here's a copy of the key. Well, I'm glad to see that the game actually okay, recognizes no that money left on the table at a bank so is not, not up for the taking, as it shouldn't be. Big bundles of paper is what we're after. Note for Sam. Deck of cards. Triangular organizer. Right. All right, let's see. Here we go. I know you and your friends were going to come plunder your heritage at some point. You want those maps? You know where to find me, Jacob. Right. Oh no. Jacob. Of course that old mule saw this coming. There we do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. Ooh, we, we can really do a persuasion this. thing. You're not wrong. I know, it's just... <sighs> All right, fine. He's my dad, okay? We're not exactly on friendly terms. He probably figured I'd come for the maps at some point. Got ahead of me. Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? Right. Let's see, um, honestly I hate all of these options. Let's just go. Oh God, that's the worst part. They're thick as thieves. Last thing I need is Jacob in her life. Let's leave it at that. And, oh great, I guess we Yeah, well, sorry I'm such a pain about it. All right, shall we? Go. And away we go. Right. And I think before we just get here we might call it there for an episode just before we get in right but it's been a lively one so far right 
I think what we definitely want to do at some point is definitely going to persuasion. Because I'm guessing all these persuasion things could be unlocking f uh, further skills in this. And the persuasions only get, it's only going to get harder as we go along. So while we've got easy persuasion chances, we should probably be, yeah, while, while we've got easy persuasion targets at the start of the game, we should probably be getting into this before it just outpaces us. Right. So I think that's probably where I'm going to put my next one. Um, and I think once we've got most of our basic abilities that we want kind of unlocked, yeah, then we'll start looking at the more advanced stuff. For now, though, thank you very much for watching. This has been Starfield, and I will see you on the next episode. I'll see you then.